checked in the fourth inning. First base ump Gary Darling warned him about rubbing the rosin bag on his leg, then took the bag away. After that, Berber did not allow another hit. Kevin Stocker cutting win in the fifth. Five Ks for Berber. Rosenbach comes back out for the Phillies. Berber comes up to the plate in the seventh. No score. Bases juice. Hitting just 097. But he's doing it, doing it, and doing it well. Representing the Reds. He was raised in where else? Ohio. Willie Green and Brett Boone score. Berber's fourth and fifth RBI of the year. He's now hitting a scintillating, smoking 119. What was Knight thinking when he let Berber hit with two outs in the bag's full quote? Al Martin, booyah, takes Real Cormier's 1-1 offering deep to right. Gone, 14th of the year, 3-2 Pirates. Top five tied at three, Mike Lansing in third. Rondell White chops one over pitcher Chris Peters. Jay Bell makes the great barehanded play, but Lansing will score from third base. Rondell White, two for four, two RBI, but he got thrown out there. Four, three Expos. Bottom seven, still four, three. Jermaine Allensworth pops one up. Pitcher Omar Dahl goes out, goes away. Henry Rodriguez caught him off, but Henry, you got to make that catch. Allensworth. First major league hit in RBI. Bottom nine, still 4-4. Angelo Encarnacion lays down the bunt. Mel Rojas falling down, fires to third. Mark Johnson is toast. One out, runner on first. Next batter, pinch hitter Mike Kingery getting his on the left. His only at bat. That brought up Allensworth again. And just as cool as the other side of the pillow. In his second big league game, he ropes it in the left field. Encarnacion comes around to score the game winner. Allensworth, two for five. He and the Pirates win at 5-4. John Aaron. Dan, Dave Nilsson. Third home run in his last three at-bats. This is a three-run shot off Bob Wells, his 12th of the year, 3-0 Brewers. Then bottom eight, Brewers up 7-5. Luis Soho looking for an extra base hit. Robbed by Nilsson getting his glove on. Mike Fetter's on for the save. 7-5 Brewers, bottom nine. Rodriguez getting his single on. To left scores, Joey Cora. Rodriguez three for five with an RBI. Later, same inning. Men on second and third. Darren Bragg flies out to left, but Rodriguez tagging up. He can tie the score. Alex hesitates and goes. Watch the slide. Just avoids the tag. We're tied at seven. Then Dan Wilson rocks Fetter's world. Doubles to left field. Ken Griffey Jr. was on second base. Scores the winning run. 13th time this year the Mariners have won at the last at bat. Dan Wilson, four for five, one homer, four RBIs. Start facing Tino Martinez with the bases loaded. What pressure. Martinez grounds into the 4-6-3 double play to end the inning. Top third Rangers up. One love. Pudge Rodriguez. Can I get a witness from the congregation? Home run to left off Andy Pettit. Pudge is 13th jack of the year. He's hitting 321. Rangers up, two love. Down two on bottom five. Martinez facing Albero again with the bases loaded. Jose, you lose. Martinez doubles off Damon Buford's glove. Buford would later say, when he hit it, I thought I had it all the way. Tino's 21st double of the year. All three runners score. Yankees up 4-2. Bottom eight, Mariano Rivera schools Lee Stevens, ends the eight. Yankees are 57-0 and when leading after eight. They win it 4-2. Pettit becomes the first 15-game winner. One A's Mark McGuire facing James Baldwin. Dial eight. Bash this, my brother, according to the Sports Center tape measure, 470 feet. Cannot give in to 36 for McGuire. Five to one A's. After Chicago fought back to tie it at five, top of eight. Scott Brocious goes shopping at the gap in right center. They pinch run for McGuire, and the run score, so it was a good idea, six to five. Bottom of eight, same score. Harold Baines with two on. He rips it. But Jason Giambi, who replaced McGuire at first, robs him. So three cheers for Art Howe for pinch running for McGuire. Unless, of course, the White Sox would have scored and tied the game, in which case talk shows would have ripped them all day long. A's hang on. Rodriguez on the mound for the Twins. Forgetful? Well, check this out. Makes a great play on the comeback from Luis Polonia. Throws him out. Rodriguez says, hey, it's a third out. Hey, hey, Frankie, two out. Get back in there. Scoreless top four Twins, first and second. Scott Stahoviak. Yep, yep. Single to left off former twin Scott Erickson. Paul Molitor scores. Stahoviak, six consecutive hits and six at bats. Next batter, Dave Hollins. Jacks a double to the gap in right center field. 16th double of the year. Marty Cordova and Stahoviak score. Twins up three love. Bottom five, O's down five love. Eddie Murray as hardcore as the Wu Tang clan in a bad mood. 493rd career homer. Ties him for 15th all time with Lou Gehrig. Still in the fifth. O's down 5-3, Cal Ripken. Tying run at the plate, Cal, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Rodriguez K's Ripken for the third time of the night. Davey Johnson in the O's, 10 games back in the East. Time, it appears to have run out. They Catcher, bottom 4-2-1 Strohm's. James Mouton knocks one up the middle. Steve Finley 
Comes up throwing home, but watch Kyle with the diving head first slide. Body goes one way, hand goes the other. He's in there safe, safe, safe. Top of seven. Danny Darwin back with the team, and Wally Joyner says, good to have you aboard. Cracks one to right field, up and over Derek Bell's head. It's a double. Steve Finley is rounding third. He doesn't read the sign. He wears the sign, and the Padres take a 4-3 to three lead as two runs score on the play. Bottom of nine now. Same score met on first and second, Jeff Bagwell. Deep. Right center field, it bounced, I sense a ground rule, yes, ground rule double bounces over, Biggio sent back to third base, brings us to bottom of 10, still tied at four, the pinch hitter is Ray Montgomery, drives one, this one also, over Steve Finley's head, watch where it touches, it is right on the yellow line, that would appear to be a home run, Ricky Gutierrez rounds third and scores, celebrations all around, Steve Finley, Ray Montgomery, wait a minute, they say go back, it's a home run, round the bases, you get that in your stat column, he does, and he gets one, Astros win the game, 6-4, to the home run from Montgomery, his key off of Armando Reynoso, up and over the left field wall, that's 19 for him, and the Mets take a quick lead, 1-0, but the Mets have not been keeping their leads, next batter is Todd Hundley, well, now it's a 2-0 lead, can you keep that with his 27th home run? Let's see in the second inning. It's Jason Isringhausen. You know, if Izzy's going to hit a home run, it's going to be a good day for the Mets. Second of the year for Izzy. If only he were pitching as well. Four to one Mets lead. Can they possibly blow this one? Bottom of three, it's four to two. With the bases loaded, it's Quinton McCracken. It's a bloop. Over Ray Ordonez's his head. He can't get to everything. Galarraga and Castilla score. Now we're tied at four. That brings us to the sixth. It's 5 4. Vinny Castilla on third. Well, how can Vinny Castilla be on third if he singles up the middle? Scoring Burks, Rockies go up six to four. Top of eight, same score, Gilkey. Second home run of the night. It ties the game at six, his 20th, RBI 71 and 72. Bottom of 10, two outs, Paul Bird on for the Mets. Walt Weiss on third, Castilla. The shot to center, and Carl Everett can't get to that. Weiss, the winning run, and Todd Hundley appropriately dejected final score seven six in ten for the Rockies the topic ERA in the first versus Delano De Shields sends a chopper back at him and like the proverbial dreidel Brown spinning gets him which takes us to the bottom Hideo Nomo and for such a complicated delivery such a simple result Gary Sheffield on a line drive up and over the wall Kevin Brown and the Marlins get the early 1-0 lead. Bottom of seven, Joe Orsalak jabs the grounder through the hole on the right side. Two-run score on that. Makes it 3 to nothing. and Kevin Brown looking great the rest of the way. Snares the Todd Hollins. Who needs a first baseman? I'll take it myself. Later in the eighth, Brown induces Greg Gagne into the always helpful to a pitcher 6-4 to four to three double play Brown went eight struck out five top of nine here comes Rob Nen doing what he's supposed to do gets Todd Hollinsworth to go to his room and the fish are a winner three love Kevin Brown and Rob Nen combining and it's the uniform anybody who wears a Braves uniform can pitch top of second cards get some solid D Fred McGriff takes a bite out of that up the middle Mike Gallego the backhanded stop and he throws across his body gets McGriff gets his man top of three Braves respond at the plate Javi Lopez clear clear Give me a Chem 7 and a CBC. Alan Bennis hangs a breaking ball. It's gone, his 16th. Top of five, score still tied. Lopez on second. Ed Giovanola facing Bennis, slaps one into right field. Lopez rounding third. Brian Jordan going to throw home, but it is not in time. Two to one Braves. That's all Wade would need. Sort of a younger day Sid Fernandez physique. Gets Mike Gallego and then Bennis. And your next batter is Royce Clayton. Gets him to go to his room he had eight K's and five and the Braves win it four to one and so they now improve to four and three on the road trip that never ends Terrell Wade picking up the win in his first and Joe Carter will tell you why they're smiling in just a second top of one Albert Bell pops up to right field Sean Green comes charging in and you get a crick in your neck when you run with your head up for that long bottom of two Dennis Martinez back off the DL getting some defensive assistance Carlos Baerga diving leather gets up and gets his man no Toronto run so far top of five bases loaded Marty Jansen walks Al Bell which may be a percentage play with the bases loaded four nothing Indians Jansen be pulled Cito not happy Paul Spoljara comes in and this doesn't thrill Cito either hits Jeremy Burnitz with the first pitch now it's five nothing Indians next batter Brian Giles and just like top 40 radio the hits just keep on coming there would be many more 10 nothing the final in favor of the Indians Dennis Martinez who